hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. We are so happy to see you. Amen. God bless you guys for being here, those in person and those online. We are happy to be your host for this year's charity night. Yes. And my name is Malcolm, and this is my... Cynthia. All right. I'll be the co-host tonight. <laughs> You're the host. I'm the co-host. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're so grateful to God for giving us this opportunity to come and raise funds for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. So to get started, we will um, call our own Auntie Emma to come give us the opening prayer. But stay tuned. Please do not leave. We have great things in store, and God has better things for you. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? Father God, we just want to thank you and bless you for a time like this in your presence, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for bringing us together, oh God, for your work's sake, oh God. We pray that you will have take control over everything that we are going to be doing here tonight. We pray, oh God, for everyone that will be coming, joining this uh, program, Charity Night. We pray, oh God, for everyone that will be giving. We pray, oh God, for every aspect of the program. We pray that you have your way tonight. Let your presence fill this place. Let your presence be with everyone, even online, watching, oh God, and let your will be done. Let everything be done to your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Are you all excited? All yes, right. I am. So, as Malcolm said, thank you all for joining us tonight. We are here for our second time of the year, but one of our most important events, the charity night. So... We're going to start by presenting GHMC, which is Jesus Is Miracle Campaign. And my dear Malcolm here is going to introduce our mission, what are we doing, and why are we raising funds tonight. So please stay tuned and watch. Amen. So um, tonight we're here because of Jesus Heals Miracle Campaign. Um, for short, JHMC, amen. So what is Jesus Heals Miracle Campaign? Jesus Heals Miracle Campaign is um, an organization, right, birthed by, by God through Reverend David Saki. You will see him shortly, amen. Um, so the mission of JHMC is to see the gospel of Jesus Christ preach to the poor all over the world, Central America, Africa, Asia, and to the uttermost parts of the world. Amen? Amen. And this is a direct commandment from God because God said in his word. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, as Malcolm say, our main goal at JGMC is to win souls for the Lord. And... Not only we are winning souls, not only we are sharing the gospel, we are also providing some medical outreaches. So we do a lot of social work when we go to crusades and we help windows, orphans, anybody in need. So as I said again, keep posted. We have great things for you tonight. And I think we are going to the second part, right? Yes. And also, Jesus Heals Miracle Campaign as she said, it's not only to African countries just because we're Africans, right? Exactly. Um, but all over the world because when Jesus says, go ye, he didn't say just go to your country or your continent, <laughs> right? So we're going all over the world in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So um, we'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to... Um, the servant of God behind JHMC. Yes. Um, who, you know, God through his own power has called um, to spearhead this mission. Amen. Amen. So please, this is a great honor for me to introduce our very own senior pastor, 
here is not only a servant, is not only an evangelist. He's the senior pastor at CRIC Dallas. He's the father of three children. He's the father of this house. And he's our father, at all, I mean, all of us. <laughs> so just a little bit about Reverend David. So if you don't know, Reverend David is actually an actual scientist. Um, he has more than 24 years in the Lord, working for the Lord, going to crusade, preaching the gospel. So please welcome this giant of the Christ, Reverend David Saki. Hallelujah. Very, very excited to have this charity night. And thank you, the hosts. Let's put our hands together for the hosts and the co-hosts doing a great job. Now, the, the charity night is a very important night because Jesus Christ says that this is what we must do. We must help people win the lost. We must uh, uh, share the gospel of Jesus Christ to win the lost. And we must help people who are in need. Jesus Christ told um, uh, Judas that, look, the gospel, that anywhere the gospel is preached, Mary what Mary did will be announced everywhere the gospel is preached and that the poor will always be around. So the charity night is not just about salvation of souls, but it is also about helping the poor. The Bible says pure religion, pure religion, undefiled before God and the Father is this, to help the widows and orphans in their affliction and to keep yourself unspotted from the world. So JHMC, just a quick summary, is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to all nations. Amen. To all nations. Amen. The great, amen. And the Great Commission is not only for a, a select group of people. It is for every Christian. Jesus said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Go ye therefore. And preach the gospel. Hallelujah. So we, the plan is to go to every country in the world to preach Jesus and to raise up evangelists, to raise up other people who will be going out into the world. Amen. So I want to encourage you that we need support to do this. That's why we have the charity night. Look at Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. If I can you pass my uh, Bible here. Or actually... Uh, if there's a Bible, Romans, yeah, you can pass it to me. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. Uh, actually, Romans chapter 10, let's start from verse 9. Can, can you open it for me? Whilst I get it, the Bible says, If you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you will believe with your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Okay, we have it here, that's fine. Verse 10, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Continue. We're going to verse 11. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. We continue. I'll tell you when to stop. Verse 12. For there is no difference between Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be saved. Still waiting. Can I have the Bible just in case? I'm not sure what's happening. Verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? So you can be saved once you call upon the name of the Lord. But if you've not believed, then how can you call on him? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? So the whole world will be going into darkness because there's no preacher to tell them the good news. And I know you can put your hands together for the Lord. And I know many Christians, including many of us watching, are not so interested in soul winning. But if you think about it, if we really are Christians and we believe that there is a God, we believe that there is a heaven, we believe that there is a hell, we believe that hell is eternal and that anyone who goes to hell can never come out of hell and that a drop of water is enough to cool someone's tongue 
and that they are flames of torment, if we truly believe it, then every Christian will make it a priority plus there are other priorities to make sure that souls are one for the Lord. Hallelujah. But the Bible says, but how can they go without a preacher? A preacher must be sent to go. And the only way to be sent is by finances. Because think about it, if there are no finances, how are we going to pay for the stage? How are we going to pay for the sound? How are we going to even do medical outreaches? As we go on, the MCs will show us some very, very compelling things, very, very interesting things. Today is not just about salvation, but it is also about charity. Charity is very, very important. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And then final, and how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace Amen. and bring glad tidings of good things. So this is why we have charity night, so that you will be a part of what God is doing. Because God is doing something very, very important and very few people in the world are doing crusades. Very few people in the world are going out to do charity. Very few. So those of you who are able to support it are going to be some of the few people who are supporting something that God's hand is upon. And if you are supporting something that God's hand is upon, God will bless you. So this is just a small introduction of the charity night. So I believe that you should stay tuned, invite friends, invite family members, because this is going to change your life. You are going to see what other people are going through. You are going to see what other people are experiencing. Because trust me, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a, in a cozy world. We are in a nice bubble of coziness. We have our cars. We have uh, medical insurance. We have things going well for us. Anytime someone needs a doctor, there's a teledoc, so many things. But there are places out there that $20 for someone to go to the doctor's because her child is dying. They cannot afford it. That is the other world. And you and I can help to make a, this a reality or a blessing for someone. So God bless you and we'll welcome uh, 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 Brother Malcolm and this, this. Amen. Amen. Dance together for Jesus. Amen. So for those of you who just joined and those who just joined us here, um, you just heard from Reverend David Saki. Amen. Amen. Um, Reverend Saki has been a blessing in my life personally and all our lives. Amen. Amen. Um, we're currently here in Dallas, Texas. The name of the church, Christ Revealed International Church. I know it's charity night, but if you're looking for a church home, we're here. 1600 North Plano Road. Amen. Yes. <laughs> amen. amen. And I cannot wait to see you on Sunday. We'll be here at 10 a.m. sharp. Anyway, so Reverend David has planted many churches in the United States, and he has trained many pastors. He hosts regular crusades, which he just spoke about, and um, pastors and leaders conferences in many parts of the world. Amen. And um, again, as my host said, um, he's been serving the Lord for as in his position for the past 24 years. Amen. 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 So God bless you, Reverend David, and God bless you for your obedience to the word. Amen. 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 So we're going to enter in the time of worship and praise, and I would like to call our beautiful Abigail here and Tete to lead us in the presence of the Lord through song. So please... <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. It's good to see all your beautiful faces. And thank you for coming to join us to do such a great work. Supporting this means you're supporting many souls to go to heaven. 
and you're depopulating hell. Hallelujah. So I believe we're here for good cause. God bless you all. And as we sing, we pray that you be blessed by it. Hallelujah.
Amen. Amen. Our God reigns indeed. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together one more time for the Lord. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. All right. So I know some more people have joined us online. So tonight is a night of fundraising for the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's a night where we are supporting God's work, God's kingdom, to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the nations. Amen. And if you just tuned in, the name of the ministry is Jesus Heals Miracle Campaign. Amen. And it was founded by Reverend David Saki. Amen. Amen. So, amen. So the mission, again, of JHMC is to see the gospel of Jesus Christ preached to the poor and rich, everyone, middle class, mid class, <laughs> millionaires, billionaires, amen. The gospel of Jesus Christ will reach all of them, amen, in Central America, in Africa, in Asia and to the uttermost part of the world, wherever the Lord leads us. Amen. 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 And we also have a plan, or our desire, I would say, is to win millions of souls for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And as we see in the Gospels, as Jesus preached to the multitude, he also made sure that their physical needs were met. So JHMC's um, goal and desire is also that when we go out to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, we don't leave these people hanging, right? Yes. We have to make sure that their physical needs are taken care of. Mm -hmm. Spiritual, most important, but physical is also very important, okay? Because some Amen. of these people don't have food, they don't yes. have water, they don't have clothes, they don't have medical supplies um, and as we go on you'll be able to see all these things and we pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will touch you so you can give us ten thousand dollars tonight amen. amen or more you know however the spirit lead let the spirits lead amen amen and also we do help widows and orphans the disabled and you know survivors of genocides you know wars um, many things, you know, and there are men and women who come and give their life to Jesus Christ who are probably in other religions. And as you know, once you give your life to Jesus Christ and the people around you don't agree, you are kicked out. And so we cannot go out into the world and see these people not have a home. Amen. So Amen. God is using you and I for us to provide homes and also churches for these people to stay in. So this is our mission. Amen. Amen. So some of the things we, by God's grace, JHMC, have accomplished so far, um, you know, I'm going to start and, you know, Cynthia will take over from here. Okay, so the most recent one, which was in March 2024, um, JHMC went to Panama, okay, Panama, and if you haven't heard of Panama, quickly Google and see, um, so Panama to one, it was a pretty remote area uh, where many people have not ever heard the gospel of Jesus Christ, amen. Um, shortly, you'll be seeing some videos and pictures so that you can relate to what we're talking about and why we're here. Amen. So, JHMC held a two-day crusade with the indigenous people, okay? Um, and it was about six hours from the capital city, okay? So, this is not six hours just by land or air. Um, they were on boats, yes. okay? Boats, ferries, boats, not ship, boats. Burning okay. under the sun. <laughs> yeah. When they came back, it was different. But, you know, surely you will see 
um, what God did through them in Panama. Amen. 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 Um, there was also a crusade held in the city of Santiago with many people turning to the Lord Jesus Christ and many healings, signs, and wonders, miracles. Amen. Amen. And then there was another crusade on the highland of Gunayala with many salvations and miracles by the Lord Jesus Christ. And surely, you know, we'll give you the visuals so you can relate to what we're talking about. Amen. Amen. So just to add up to what Malcolm was saying, so I think it was last year? August yes, 2023. 2022, 2023. 2022, 2023, and continue backward. But just in 2023, um, the team went in Keyonzi. I don't know if I pronounced it well. I'm sorry to my Rwandans. <laughs> okay. So JGMC helped um, more than five, almost 500 underprivileged to get health insurance. So we live in the United States. We know how much healthcare is expensive. We know that you better not be sick. So just imagine living in a country where you don't have, you, they don't even have a lot of hospital, a lot of facilities, and they don't even have access to health. They can't even heal themselves. So just imagine the relief that those people receive when they got this health insurance. Um, also, not only we didn't forget those who died during, or I mean, those who, s who suffer for the, from the genocide. Yeah, so JGMC also donated to those people. Yeah, because we still have the repercussion of this war, so we still need to help, and we are there for them. And we um, supported an underfunded clinic in Rwanda. So I'm just saying, I, I don't want to overwhelm you with a bunch of phrases, but just picture in your head a team of four or five people going in a country that have never been there before. They go all the way to East Africa, to Rwanda. They'll go to the small, small village that everybody has forgotten about. And they go there and take care of those people. They go there and take care of the windows of the sick children. They go there and take care of the kids that have been left abandoned. We need you. We need you not only because we need your money, but we need your heart. We want to speak to your heart tonight. So please, we need more of Rondas. We need more of Panamas. We need more of all those locations. You can have the PowerPoint where we have all the locations where we went. We went to Tamale. We did so many great things there. We helped the windows. We donated food. We helped them to have a house. We formed the faith in Jesus Christ. Not only there, we, when Rev goes there, he went and formed pastors so that they can shepherd the, 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 the kingdom. I mean, the, the people of God. There are so many things that we did. And we want to continue doing that in 2024. So I will go to Malcolm, if you have something to add. Yes, so even as she's talking, I'm, you know, getting emotional because it's not easy, right? Um, think about how people struggle even in the United States. Now, think about a third world country where there is no help at all. Okay, um, so this is not to, you know, obviously twist and turn your minds or anything. This is real. Um, and you see it shortly so that you can relate to what we're saying. Okay, mm -hmm. so aside from crusades, which crusades is the main thing for Jesus Christ to be heard, but the people... After the crusade, then what? Yes. Okay, then what? Their souls, their well-being, you know, their day-to-day -day food, water. Um, the kids, some had no shoes. And shoes had to be bought for them. They were walking barefooted all these years until God sent JHMC. So mm -hmm. imagine what... Some of them have never been in a hospital because they cannot afford that. They never had medicine. They only use traditional medicine because they cannot afford that. As I like to say, it, 
you can preach the gospel, but how likely a empty stomach will receive the, Je the Jesus that you are talking about? Amen. Even Jesus feed the crowd. He fed more than 5,000 men only. We, we are not talking about the women. So I don't know for you guys. I don't know for you guys, but when I'm starving, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't need to talk much. <laughs> Amen. And um, as you all may know, Reverend David is originally from Ghana. Um, so we don't forget about Ghana. So we were in Ghana in 2022 in Tamale. Um, my mom is actually from Tamale. I've been to Tamale a few times. So that's a village? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's nice, though. But, you know, yeah, it's not a crap. But, yeah, see, someone went to school there. So um, my mom's side of the family is from Tamale. So I, I remember what the place looks like. It's mostly Muslim-dominated, right? So... Um, Reverend David and the team went to Tamale in 2022, preached the gospel. Um, over 10,000 people attended the crusade. And imagine 10,000 Muslims coming to a crusade, receiving Jesus Christ, and then still living in a Muslim-dominated place. What's going to happen to them? Okay? So we need churches. We need money to support them. We need to be able to raise other pastors and teachers and people who can truly shepherd these people. Because if no one is there, they're going back to being Muslims, right? And we cannot allow that to happen because Jesus Christ cares about their souls. Um, and it would take you and I's effort and your money to keep going. Amen. 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 All right. So, and then in June 2022, they were back in Rwanda again. Um, over 15,000 people attended the crusade, and nearly 8,000 of those people gave their lives to Jesus Christ. Again, those people need to be taken care of yes. one way or the other. Amen. Amen. Man. So tonight, you know, as, you know, the event is going on, pray, be led by God, and give, 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 because God will bless you, right? It's Amen. in his word. Your giving is not going to be in vain. Uh, I, I, I can share many testimonies um, that giving has done in my life and her life and our lives here. And God will not forsake you if you give. Amen. 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 So, Cynthia talked a bit about, you know, the medical outreaches. Yes. Again, um, we don't just go just to go. But imagine a hospital with no beds. Okay. Imagine a child who can go to the hospital because they don't have $20. $20. A Chick fil A. <laughs> Two meals at Chick fil A. Plus drinks. That would save somebody's life. Okay. So, medical outreach is very important to JHMC. Again, Jesus, number one, but the needs of the people, number two. Amen. Amen. Um, and um, if. God does not give us the grace or the monies to go to these places to be able to help these people that need the basic necessities, you know. Um, sometimes it's not crazy expensive medicine. Mm -hmm. It's just the basics, the basics. Tylenol, okay? You can go to Walmart and pick Tylenol, but they don't have access to that. So the basics... For God to use us is going to take a lot of money. Because imagine 15,000 people coming to a crusade and you can only, you know, maybe give 100 people 
supplies, right? It won't be fair to the rest. And we would want and we love to be able to take care of the needs of every individual that comes to a crusade. And God will do that. Amen. So Amen. we're quickly going to show you a video of um, some of the medical outreaches we've done in the past. And um, please stay tuned. Don't log off. We'll be right back. Amen. <laughs> so, I would like to call our beautiful Eta to provide us a testimony about what she has done during the crusade. So, just a quick introduction. <laughs> so, yeah, Eta is a nurse pra practitioner. Come, Eta. <laughs> Eta is a nurse practitioner that's going to crusade, so she's usually the one taking care of the sick people there. Thank you so much, Eta, for doing that. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you all for coming, and thank you for all the beautiful faces that are here, and also those who are online. We don't forget our online family as well. And thank you for coming. Your coming alone won't go in vain. Hallelujah. Again, as she was saying, my name is Etta. Professionally, I am a nurse, and um, I work with the Crusade. For many of you that know me, I've been with uh, Reverend David and JHMC for a few years, um, and I'm grateful for that. Um, but I work behind the scene coordinating a lot of the Crusades, right? So um, the finances as well, the money that comes along with it, the medical outreach. Professionally, I'm also working to, you know, give my little skill that I have to the kingdom as well. But um, before I get started with my testimony, I want us to turn to Matthew 25, verse 36. Hallelujah. Amen. Just want to share that this is also, we're doing the right thing, you know. Don't, don't think that we're not doing the right thing or we're not following the Bible. The Bible said in Matthew 25, verse uh, 36, it says, actually, 30, uh, 25, verse 35, and I'm going to read to 37. 35 said, for I was hungry, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. 36 says, naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick. And you visited me. I was in prison and you came unto me. Hallelujah. So as the Bible is saying, JHMC go throughout the world and preach the gospel. And we do not forget Matthew 25. Hallelujah. We remember the people who are not clothed, right? We remember the sick, right? Um, this one example I can remember, it was in Tamale, um, where we went to the maternal war where people actually give birth, right? And me, I work here as a nurse. I can't imagine working in that condition. I wouldn't even know what to do, right? So when I went, they don't have, like, anything, nothing sterile at all. Like, 
the machines that they use to actually, it's, it, this is not funny. I'm just laughing because I'm trying to make light of it instead of crying right now. Because when I first saw it, I just broke down into tears because I could not even imagine going through such that impersonally as a patient to have to use things that are like rusty right the, the some of the equipment was actually rusted and the lady was like she's like this is all i have so i just work with what i have right and then there was another situation where um a lady was actually her blood pressure and her uh, her blood sugar was elevated right her blood sugar was 500. I remember two days ago, my cousin called me and said, oh, my blood sugar is 200. And I'm like, ah, but 200, just take your insulin and be cool. But 500, that's an emergency situation here. Don't call, call, don't call me, call 911. But she was walking as if nothing was happening, right? And we couldn't, we couldn't just let her go like that. As the Bible said in Matthew 25 that I just read, we couldn't just let her walk away. We had to do something to fulfill that, that scripture. So what we did was gather some money, even though we didn't have none um, in the moment, the team was able to gather something. And with the help of the crusade, we're able to supply us for insulin for three months. Hallelujah. And then also we're able to give her some teaching on how to be healthy as far as her blood, her blood pressure go. Hallelujah. But those are just few of the many. We can go on and on and on and on. But this right here to just tell you that there is need out there. So don't feel like God is going to forget about you. This is a seed that you are sowing for your generations, generations to come. It is not just, you're not giving to me. You're not giving to Reverend David. You are giving to Jesus. And when you give to Jesus, there is no way he would not reward you. Hallelujah. So take your pocketbooks this evening as I'm going to take mine as well. And we're going to write some checks to JHMC this evening. We're not just going to take it, oh, $50 here. No. Because as I said before, when I started that I work in the back, one of the crusades can easily cost $50,000. You know, we want to go deep, deep, deep part of the world. We want to go to India. We want to go to places where the gospel has not been heard. Hallelujah. Every time one of my patients, get, I'm sorry, I'm taking up your time. I know they just gave me five minutes, but I really want to tell you how dear this is to my heart. So as we're giving, let's give fully. Hallelujah. I, um, um, two days ago when I was working, one of my patients, um, called, called into the room, right? And I went to go check on her. Whatever, I was there checking on her. And then one of my co-workers, they called her Code Blue. A patient I was walking, nothing was wrong with the patient. Code Blue in the hospital means they had a cardiac arrest. There's something with your heart. So they're calling for help. Everybody should come. The pharmacist, everybody in the building should come and do try to resuscitate the patient, right? So I stepped out of the room. I'm like, ah, this patient I just walked past that was actually going to the bathroom. Is that who they were calling Code Blue on? And they said yes. In less than 10 minutes, the person was there. So every time somebody died as a Christian, I'm like, oh, Lord, did they know Christ? That's the first question that comes to my mom. Like, they didn't know Christ. Like, every time. So let's not take this for a joke. Let's help this ministry and take God, uh, 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 Matthew 28, everywhere in the world and preach the gospel to these people. Hallelujah. I will let you guys go. But I, please, take out your books. And we want to see fat checks. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 God bless you, Sister Etta. So, I'll be calling our dear Reverend David again, who is going to give you much more detail of what we plan to do with the medical outreaches with the funds. So, Rev, please. Amen. That was very touching. Uh, how has it been? It's been very touching. Uh, Sister Cynthia, Brother Malcolm, and Sister Edda, God bless you. But, uh, you know, anytime uh, those who are with me in, in the Crusades can testify, every time we help people, I always feel like crying because I'm like, oh, if we could have done a bit more. So I... I, I I always want us to do more because there's much more we can do. There is much more we can do, but we just need a little 
bit more. Hallelujah. And what we want to do with the medical outreach is, there's a lot we want to do. If I had a million dollars, it will all be, it, yes. There's a lot we can do with the medical outreaches. We would want to have medical outreaches for every crusade. Anytime we're planning a crusade, we want to plan it in the, in, in the deep areas where people have not gone to. So we always ask a question. Have people had crusades here? And the answer usually is no. This is the first one. Because we always try to have crusades and do medical programs and outreach programs where other people have not been. Because if we are one of the others, then what is the point? So I, I want to encourage us to think about everything that we've heard. Now, the medical outreach is we want to do it on a larger scale. We also had a dental outreach also in Tamale. We want to help more people. For example, we will show that video of a child, a, a, a one-year-old child crying. And the child was filled full of sores. The sores are, like when I say sores, these are boils, sores, and I feel the child would have died because though inf infected, so they told me to pray for the child. As I was praying for the child, I realized that this is a simple cause of antibiotics. But so I asked, Has, have, have, have you taken the child to the doctor? And the mother was also infected. You, you see the video if we have time. Infected. So imagine the child is infected, screaming. The hand is full of sores. The legs, the whole body, and crying. And the mother is crying, wiping her tears, and also full of the bacteria. So, reinfection. So, I said, can't you go to the doctors? And they said, we don't have money to go because they are in an island, separated by water. Island, 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 island. And they said, they don't have money to go to the doctors. So, I asked, how much will it take to go to the, the doctors? $20. So, a child can die for $20. $20. $20. So you can imagine God in heaven seeing that we are helping people who will not get help from anyone. What will he do for us if we are able to help people who would not be helped? And I ask myself, God, we need help. But you love them. I didn't die for them. You died for them. So God will provide, but God wants us to be blessed by also being a part of those who provide. I hope you are listening also those online because God will, God loves them more than I, I do. I don't even know them. So if God is the one who has put it in our hearts or on our hearts, the JHMC team, to do this, then God must be ready to supply. But the thing is that what about the blessing that God gives for giving? We want it to also come to us because we want to do it on a large scale. We want to be able to provide, have doctors, drugs, medication, even sometimes even surgical things too. Because some of the things, we saw some patients and we said that this thing, it needs surgery. But a stitches, we, can't, we, 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 we should be able to help people like that. But all this comes finan with finances. That is the reality. Finances move everything. That's why the Bible says money answers all things. But the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. But money will make a difference. So I want to encourage you. We want to do it for every crusade. We are hoping to also do it in Mexico. But I've told them to pause because it will depend on the, what we get today to, uh, for the charity night. If we don't get enough, we can't do it in, in Mexico. Hallelujah. But remember that we don't go to the cities. We go to the indigenous. Imagine, uh, which I'll share about, I'll just touch on it. Imagine Panama. Very few of them knew the Lord. These are people who have not heard the gospel. Look at the Muslim community uh, in, in Tamale. When they give their lives to Christ, they are kicked out of their homes. They, we even wanted to have a building project for them. We would do that. God would give us the, the grace to build a place, not for us, but for them. Hallelujah. 
So those watching, if God is touching your heart, do it. Because at the end of the day, it is for God. And God will bless you. So this is what we want to do. We want to do it on a large scale. We want to do it for every crusade, medical outreaches. We want to be able to not only continue to diagnose, continue to provide drugs, treatment, actual treatment, help people, sometimes even surgical, provide. So that's the plan we will have for the medical outreach. And I believe that God will bless us. Amen. 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 Are you being blessed tonight? Yes. Are you ready to give? Yes. Are you ready to give? Yes. Amen. Are you ready to give to the Lord? You guys. So, yeah, so now we're going to, we have a small clips for you guys um, about medical outreach again, right? Charity? Okay, sorry. So we have a small clip um, about charity, remembering the poor, what we did. So I would like to invite you just to take five seconds of your time and watch this clip. Thank you. Powerful. Amen. Um, I would like to mention something. So, just a quick reminder. We are not doing charity only abroad. We are not doing it only in Africa, in South America. We are we also doing it here in the United States. And here in Dallas, we do clothing donation, food donation, Saturday, maybe one of you guys run on us at downtown Dallas. But yeah, I would like to mention that. So we did not forget the United States. We did not forget where we live. So now I'm going to call my dear Uncle Fred to share a bit about his experience with JJMC. Uncle Fred, please. Hallelujah. I mean, for me, it's um, a very emotional thing because um, I, I'm a witness, you know, I've been on a number of um, these campaigns and it's a, like um, Sister Etta said, it's a very, it's a hard thing for me, hard, you know, it's in the heart. And because you cannot, you cannot see, you cannot see a child who is helpless, crying, you know, crying from a pain that is unrelenting, you know that cannot go, which can be solved by just $20. You, you, you cannot remain the same. 
you know, and that also brings to mind if we, I don't know how many of you have watched Schindler's List. You know, at the end of the film, he was just saying that, you know, I wish I had more money. I, I could have sold my watch. I could have sold my shoes. You know, I could have sold everything to take, take, um, um, take care of um, these people, the Jews who were, you know, to save another so One more. He does what he said, one more. One more. So as I stand here, that is what I'm saying. One more. Give as much as you can because, you know, it's... Um, it's a hard thing, like I said. It's I cannot put it in words. We went to Rwanda. I'll give you an example from Rwanda and then under under country. Rwanda and five hundred people, right? They don't they could they didn't have um, insurance. So JHMC um, put together some money for these people for one year. One year five um, five hundred people for one year. Apart from that, you know, because of the the genocide that happened um, some time ago. People say that, oh, this happened a long time ago. Forget about it. But, you know, the rep replications of of that um, genocide has affected generations in such that poverty is still prevailing. It's very prevalent. And it's a crippling, a crippling one. Like, so I'm not talking about poverty. Some people will say, even the poor call me poor. Yeah, that kind of poverty, you know. But I see... JHMC put together, together some money and bought a hundred goats just to set them up because you know when you put them into a, an economic venture it will basically leave them out of poverty and then in, in their generations will also be affected so as, as I stand here I'll, I'll, I'll read one, one scripture for you um, it's, it's, I want to copy Star Eta because it's uh, uh, I'm, I'm near tears but I won't cry don't worry, don't worry I won't cry yeah, I won't cry. It says, taken from Galatians 2 verse 10, I like the New International Version just for this one. It says that all they asked was that, all they asked was that we should continue to remember the poor. The very thing I had been eager to do all along. Continue, that's the key word. Continue. You, are, you might have given. We are very grateful to you for giving. Those online, we are very grateful to you for giving. But continue to give. Continue to give. Give some more. Because um, Schindler, when he was just, when he was lamenting, he said, I, 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 I could have sold my watch. I could have sold, sold my coat, my jacket, even my car. Because in the end, when you, are, when you are about to die, you know all these things will not matter. Your, your possessions will not matter. And you say, oh, I wish I had given this to this person. I wish I had given this to that person. So in the same vein, I, I, I'd like to um, appeal to you, you know, to give, give out. Because look at these people, for instance, uh, another one that happened in, um, I'm a witness. I like to, I'm a witness. I am a witness, a true witness, because I saw it with my own eyes. You know, in Tamale, um, Reverend, uh, Reverend David put together this dental outreach. I was there. Actually, I, I, part of the things I do uh, for JHMs, I take pictures, right? So I saw it with my own eyes. Yeah. I saw it with my own eyes. The extra lenses, there you go. So, you know, I mean, I've never seen any such thing before. Never. You know, to, to have their teeth um, examined, they were sitting on a chair. Can you believe that? A chair. And even the, the implements were rudimentary. And you know, the, the guy, the guy, they took care of one of those guys without, what do you call that thing? Anesthesia. I was there, I saw it with my own eyes. Yeah, without anesthesia. Can you imagine the pain? Yeah. You see, when, so when I'm saying these things, please believe me because I'm a witness. I saw it with my own eyes. And I didn't just see it, but it was also recorded. You know? So please, and then look at um, this other person. I, I can tell you so many, because I was there. You know, I was there. There's this, um, I'm a witness, right? I am a witness. I saw it with my own eyes. This guy was there who was, he, he was so, he didn't have any, any food to eat. We were there. What did we do? 
feed him. You know, and you see the point is, it's only a bit like like a status. It's just a, just one out of many. Look at look at um, preaching to people in um, Tamale, right? Tamale. So many people got saved. So many. I saw it with my own eyes. But Rev said that I wish I had more. I wish I had more because all of these people, see, the, the, um, the, there are countries who are actually providing money for, with, uh, for uh, those who are from another religion, providing, pumping money into that place. Yes. Yes. So how can we help these people who after receiving Jesus Christ, they profess Jesus Christ, they have no support. There was even this lady who came to us and we recorded, it's also recorded. She said that um, she's received Jesus Christ, but she, she can't tell her, her husband. Because if she tells her husband, you know what will happen. Yeah. And not only did she receive the um, um, Christ, but her son also received Christ. So if um, she tells the husband, it means that both of them will be, you know, let's go. And maybe something worse, I don't know. So please, please, God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Uncle Fred. So, the most important part of JHMC, again, is the spiritual aspect, okay? Winning souls for the Lord. Um, winning souls for the Lord, right? Um, a part of what we do for you know, remembering the poor is also making sure that those who are in need are fed and so on and so forth. Make sure their needs are provided for aside from medical outreaches and, you know, providing the basic needs, food, water. It's all important and GHMC does that. Amen. Amen. Um, so just to give you a few statistics about, you know, the spiritual aspects by God's grace, JHMC has held a total of 29 crusades. Wow. Visited. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Uh, visited seven different countries. 92 total crusade nights. 62 total crusade cities. Amen. And 100,000 plus souls have been won Thanks for Christ. For Lord. Amen. And so, as we mentioned before, some of the previous countries are El Salvador, Nicaragua, Honduras, and in Africa, Ghana, Rwanda. This year, we have more countries that we're going to be visiting in Africa, um, Central America, We've been to more countries this year, so by God's grace, next year, when we come back, we'll have a longer list for you, right? And a bigger budget, so you can give more. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Amen. And also, um, in the United States, um, different states, um, currently, we're serving here in Dallas, Texas, and as, you know, Cynthia mentioned earlier, if you ever want to serve, um, feed the poor, uh, we do that uh, monthly. Amen. 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 So, uh, without further ado, um, I'm going to call on uh, Sister Abby to give us, you know, just a few words about what she's witnessed on the field in terms of the spiritual aspect. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Everyone has said really powerful things. <laughs> but for me personally, I feel like this is such a blessing to be able to go out and do this type of thing where you're preaching to people. Sometimes I say to myself, when I look at the ticket, how much it is, I think of the things I could use with that money, accommodation, all those things. But I always tell myself it's worth it. It's when you see what Jesus has done for us, even if I'm not living the life that I wish I had, 
yet. <laughs> Even if I'm not living that life yet, I feel like God has been good and good to me just by sending his son to die on the cross for us. So it's buying a ticket that is thousand something, staying in a place that is expensive and all that. It's nothing compared to what the Lord has done for me. So I think it's a blessing. The last place we went to, Panama, the first two nights, these were people who've never heard Jesus. When we say never heard of Jesus, like we're not exaggerating. These are people who don't know anything about the gospel. And it's, I might not be the one preaching, but to be able to be a part of the team and to help them come on stage, give their lives, and you see people crying. It's like, wow, I've missed out my whole life. There's someone that could save me, love me no matter what, and I didn't know. So it's like that feeling when you see people giving themselves to Christ and just like... I don't know, it makes Christianity even nicer when I travel and I see things like this because it makes me realize I'm not grateful for what I have and I don't take God seriously like they do because some of the conditions that the people are living in and if you see how they worship, I'm like, wow, I can't see myself worshiping like that if I was in that condition. You know, people who don't have... One of the places we went to in Panama, the lady was showing us uh, the church building they had and I mean, I don't even know if it's a building, but whatever it is, at least that's where the worship at. And when I look at where we are, I'm like, wow, I'm grateful to God that I have something that I, I can say I'm comfortable with. So whatever you have, just give it, support us. And like Edda said, you're not supporting Reverend, we're not, it's not for Reverend David, but it's to Jesus. And also one thing I like about this organization, not because I'm part of it, but is because everything you give, if you give a dollar, exactly that will go to the people that we're trying to help. We don't, any extra costs, it's no fees, there's no, so if you give a dollar, everything goes straight to the people that you're trying to help. And there's so many departments that you can help. You can help um, little children, you can help if you, if you see something or if you see someone on there that you want to support, you can even reach out to Edda and she can pass your information and you can even take home personally and help someone. So, I mean, whatever you guys can do to help us will be a great blessing and I believe the Lord will remember you one day. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. So we'll show you a quick video um, before we continue with the program. Amen. Amen.
like to invite Reverend David back. Oh, there's a bit more? Okay. Oh. I thought it ended. Blessings, beloved brothers and sisters. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, we've been working with gay agency ministers for such a, since no, last year. And so far we have found out that there are a lot of needs of the word of God. There's a lot of thirst and today we are from five. Okay, so I think we're gonna finish that. Uh, no, I think it's almost just a, a few seconds. Um, Abigail will put it through and then um, I will just speak for two th two minutes. It's working. So just a quick uh, thing to say, since time is, is far spent. So I want to encourage you. What do you I, mean, I think this is a good work. Amen. This is a good work that God is doing. This is not something a man is doing or a team is doing, but this is something God is doing. Because when you read the Bible, we are just trying to follow the Bible. And this is what the Bible is telling us to do. So I want to encourage you to give. When you are giving, you are not giving to just JHMC in a way, you are giving to God. And anything you give to God is not wasted. I want to encourage us, the Bible says that as we are bound, we should also abound in giving. So it's good to understand the principle of giving and knowing that God will bless you because you have given. Because you are not just giving to uh, 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 just anything, but you are giving to a good cause, a cause that God is in. If you give to something God is in, you'll be blessed. If you give to something God is in, it can even give you great, great miracles. Sometimes some of the things we are trusting God for. Different people have been healed and different miracles have occurred just through giving to the GHMC. So I want to encourage you about that. And just like Brother Fred said and I said before, 
it's always, I've never gone for a crusade when it comes to the charity part and I have not said, I wish there was more we could do. So as the people are grateful, I am sad. Literally. Sometimes I have to just turn so that I don't even, I, I don't get teary because there's much more we could have given. Because don't forget that there's the spiritual. Jesus fed the people like uh, Sister uh, Cynthia said. So I want to encourage you, Christ is coming soon and we want to be able to win the loss on a larger scale. We want to start having 100,000 people at a crusade. And all that will depend on money. 200,000, all will depend on finances because it's very, very expensive. Hallelujah. Very, that's why many people don't have crusades. Very, very expensive. You always need faith because we've planned all the crusades. This year, we've planned our crusades this year. But we know that God will provide the money. Yeah. Yes. And you watch, by the end of the year, we would have finished our crusades in spite of the bank accounts. <laughs> and finally, blessed is he that considereth the poor. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. Psalm 41, verse 1 to 3. God will deliver him in time of trouble. He'll be blessed upon the earth. God will not deliver the person to the will of his enemies. And God will be the nurse of that person. The nurse of that person. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Are you guys tired? Amen. 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 So I would like to continue with our goals for 2024. So as we said, we have um, some crusades planned for 2024. So we plan to go, I mean, we're already gone to Panama. So our next destination is going to be Costa Rica, Mexico, Venezuela. And again, we are going back in East Africa. But this time, we're going to Tanzania and Burundi. We have never been there, so this is exciting for us. We also have some construction projects, so we plan to build um, for the underprivileged and disabled a facilities where they can hang there and receive some help in Ghana, in Rwanda, and in Honduras as well. Amen. Amen. So... Again, we haven't forgotten the homeless. So we plan to also take care of some children and women in Africa, providing them a housing where they can stay, where they can live there. And as well as um, the genocide survivor, the orphans, the widows, the poor, and the needy. For the U.S. outreaches, so for those who are in the United States, we will be so glad to have you join us, not, not only your money, but physically. We want you to be part of our shelter and prison outreaches. We want to go to the jail. We want to go to the prison, talk to the prison about Jesus, the hope that they have after the jail. Um, providing food, clothing for the homeless during street evangelism. So we're doing once a month in Dallas here at downtown, and we switch location. So it might be downtown, Plano, wherever there is homeless, we are always trying to be there and feed them and give some clothes, give some support. Let them know that they might be forgotten for, for the, from the family or others, but we are still there for, for them. And last but not least... We plan to help children again. We want to invest in the future. We want to invest in the health of the children. So we want, I mean, we were able to get 500 health insurance. What about a million? What about two million? Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. So join us. Support us for 2024. We need you. We don't only need the money, but we need your person. We need your effort. Right, Malcolm? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Amen. God bless you, Cynthia. And as you know, all this comes with dollar signs. Amen. When I say money, all of you are so quiet. You don't want to give money. Are you You'll tired? give it unto the Lord. Amen. So all of this comes with dollar signs. So... For this year, we have our financial needs, 
Okay, we're going to share that with you all. Um, the most, oh, I'll go in order. Okay, so now we need two outdoor sound systems for crusades. One in Africa and one in Central America. Okay, and those cost a little under $200,000. Amen. 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 All right, you guys are scared of money. Amen. 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 Uh, we also need three mobile st state trucks for crusades. Um, those will be in Central America, West and East Africa. And that is also a little under 300,000. Well, a little more than 300. So a little under 400,000. Amen. Just a little. Just a little. And also we have um, the building projects that Cynthia mentioned. Um, this we want to be able to accomplish in the next three years. Amen. As God gives us grace. Um, another thing we need is, to, is transportation for people to go to crusade grounds. As you know, not many people in these countries are able to get to where um, the crusades are being held. So we need to arrange transportation to be able to carry them from one place to the other so they can hear the gospel, um, you know, be fed, um, participate in medical outreaches so that these people, as they come out to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ, we can also detect any medical needs or issues they have um, so that they can continue to live and serve God. Amen? So stage, sound, lights, you know, um, I believe you see uh, the pricing on your screen. Um, these numbers are not made up. They're real, okay? Uh, very real. Um, and also charity and medical outreaches. And these cost about $20,000 per crusade. And I'm believing that God will touch somebody's heart and say, I'll give 20000 for the next one. Amen? Amen. And that person is you. Amen. <laughs> and um, we also have to do pastor's conferences, Okay. The pastors' conferences and so on and so forth. Amen. Um, so um, these budgets are broken down into locations, as you may have on your screens as well. The stage, sound, lights. Um, these cost about two thousand dollars a day to four thousand dollars a day. Just one crusade. Okay, not two days, three days. Just one day. Okay. Um, transportation costs about two to three thousand a day. Um, the charity and medical outreach about five to ten thousand dollars. And these are expensive because medication, equipment, all these things come into play. So numbers are not just being thrown around. But think about it: when you you go to the emergency here in America, your bill, if not at least you will see $1,000 on that bill. Yeah. And that's just somebody saying, hi, welcome to the hospital, right? <laughs> right. Just for you entering there, they are billing you. Okay? So imagine, and, and these numbers are for multi hundreds and sometimes thousands of people, right? So the more we have, the more we can cater to. Amen. Um, advertising, also very important, so people can come and hear the gospel. Amen. And also, uh, budget for crusades by location. We have Costa Rica, which is about $6,000. Mexico, $13,000. Um, medical outreach in Mexico, about 5000 Venezuela, about 15000 East Africa, Tanzania, and Burundi, 32000 I remember, um, we haven't been to... Tanzania and Burundi. So um, it's going to take more, all right, because it will be our first time there. But as Reverend David said, and as we believe in God, that God will touch your hearts to give so that we can make all these things a reality in this year. Amen. 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 Are we excited to give? Are we excited to give? Yes. Given time. Given time. Blessing time. Mm. I like you guys today. Given time. Blessing time. Okay. So for those who brought your checkbooks, for those online, 
we'll project um, the ways and means that you can give. Um, at this point, we will take some time for you to digest the information. There's a lot of numbers. So we'll call um, Sister Abby and the anointing on her and Tete's life. God will touch you all to give towards this great mission. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we're getting our fat checks out <laughs> and dealing and cash up in and everything, we want to sing this song. Hallelujah. loves me I don't know why he cares I don't know why he sacrifices life oh but I'm glad I'm glad he
didn't care Where would you be? And where would I be? If Jesus didn't sacrifice his life Oh, but I'm glad I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm glad he did I don't know, I can't understand And I don't know As you are giving and you are helping supporting in this, you are helping to support this ministry. I want this song to really minister to you. It says, when I get to heaven, I will see the heroes of faith. When I get to heaven, I want to tell God that I did the best I could do. When I get to heaven, I don't want to say, Lord, can you please bring me back so I can give more? Can you please bring me back so I can take more out of my pockets and give? Can you please bring me back so I can give everything that I have? So as I sing this song, I pray that you've been blessed by it. Hallelujah. When I get to heaven, I will take a seat on the lonely bench by the fields of heaven. Sit and think about my life, the life I lived, the things I did, the places I went. I hope I never say I regret the way I lived. I hope I never say. to heaven I will roam the streets and the highways I will walk the lanes I will see the heroes of the faith compare myself to those who shine like the stars and receive crowns I 
hope I never say I regret the way I lived I hope I never say Please let me go back I don't want to say Can I go back to do some more I don't want to say When you get to heaven, you will see your friends and folks from church. The first will be last, and then the last will be the first. And I hope you'll be among the last to become the first. I hope you say you regret the way you lived I hope you never say please let me go back you don't want to say can I go back to do some more I don't want to say I regret the way I lived. I hope I never say. Please let me go back. I don't want to say. I want to go back. I don't want to say. I want to go back. I say I regret the way I lived I hope I never say please let me go back I don't want to say can I go back to do some more I don't want to say Beautiful, beautiful. Now, those online, it looks like I, I just want to encourage you to call. This is the crucial time now. Hallelujah. This is the this is the critical crunch time. So I want to encourage you to call your friends, family, let them know that we are ready to start uh, 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 donating. Amen. And remember that anything we give to God is not lost. Hallelujah. Somebody has just uh, uh, given a match amount. Hallelujah. An amount that can be matched. Hallelujah. But before then, I want to encourage us to give. Now, those online, um, I believe there's somebody who is supposed to be watching the online. So those online now, good. I want to encourage you to you know, whatever you want to give, you can just write it down. And that is very important so that we can know about how to work on the matching and all the different uh, uh, things. So what I'm saying is that you can just give a thumbs up or mention the amount you want to give. Hallelujah. But let's pray. Father God, we pray in Jesus' name for each and everyone who is giving and about to give. We pray, oh God, that you do a new thing in our lives. As we give, oh God, Father God, show us the blessing of giving. Those who are in need and who just need something from you, Father God, may you grant each and every one of them their requests and each and every one of us our requests as we also do the thing that matters to you. 
Lord Jesus, we know that in heaven, as you are in heaven now, you are concerned about souls. You are concerned about the, the poor, the helpless. So, oh God, as we sow seeds and donate to help these helpless people, Father God, also look at our lives, look at our situations, honor us, bless our seed, bless the works of our hands, oh God, and let Psalm 41 and all the verses that talk about the, the blessings of giving to the poor, let them be a reality in our lives. Let it be practical, oh God, practical, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. So we've just started a fundraising. So I want to just encourage. So anyone who, and, and this one we have, uh, it's important to give immediately, but you can just give on the screen. Now, um, text give to 440-306-7077. If you look on, your, on the screen, you will see it. We have uh, text to give. We have Zelle. We have a cash app. We have PayPal. We have all these avenues of giving. So I want to encourage you to give. But as you are giving, I want to mention certain amounts which I believe are very, very important. Amen? And when God touches your heart to give that amount, I want to encourage you to give it. Amen? But before that, I also want to encourage us to be partners. Partnership is very, very important. What do I mean by partners? When you are a partner, we can plan more effectively. Right now, we, are, we, we plan by faith. But we want a situation where we will plan effectively. We will plan, uh, 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 we will be able to plan more. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you, some people can give uh, $60 a month, $80 a month, $50 a month, $100 a month, $200 a month. And some people who, are, who want to become board members can give $250, $500 a month. Hallelujah. And that, is, that would be a blessing. And if you are not able to give a certain amount at a certain point and you want to pause your payment, very easy. You just go to the site, whether it's PayPal, whether it's text to give, and just pause it. But I want to encourage you to do that because that will be a blessing. Amen. That is going to be a blessing. And these are very secure. I mean, PayPal, most people know that PayPal is secure. So if you are, if you are a, a monthly contributor in pay, on PayPal, I don't think you need to worry about anything. You can just go to PayPal. You can just uh, go to PayPal. Jesus Heals Miracle Campaign uh, Incorporated because we are a 5013C uh, uh, registered nonprofit uh, charity. Jesus Heals Miracle Campaign. It's it's a, if you go online and you type it, you see it, and it's one of the the, the very very profitable. Oh, I say profitable. Very very. Uh, what word am I using? Very secure. And then also. Gold star. I mean, very, very, I'm just looking for the word, uh, uh, reliable. Those who are trustworthy. What's the word? Genuine. Credible and genuine. Yes. Hallelujah. Th that's what I meant. Hallelujah. But the profitable will be for you. I said the profitable will be for you. I said the profitable will be for you. Amen. So I want to encourage you, just go through. Text give. Go to Zell. You can even do a Zell monthly Zell payment. There are so many ways you can do it. I believe that God will bless you when you do that. So I want to just talk about the monthly giving before I start raising the funds. So I want to encourage you. I want to see uh, 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 you do that. Then you are partnering with us about something God is doing. Think about it. So you become a partner of the JHMC and Jesus. So, so we are working together with Jesus Christ. Look at the last verse of Mark. The Bible says, you, you, I mean, you can just go to the last verse of Mark. The Bible says, and Jesus worked with them. They went everywhere preaching and Jesus worked with them. Jesus was working with them and they went forth, Mark 16, 20, and they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Hallelujah. So God will confirm his word to you and I by the miracle he'll do in your life. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you to become a partner. Let's, let's have the thing on the screen again. Partner, $20, $40, $50, $70, $100. I want to see more board members. We have just a few. You can count the number, maybe three board members. I want to encourage you to become a board member. If you are watching 250 500 a month, and when you do that, God will bless you. You trust me. Anyone who does that from now on, the following year, you will be in a position to be able to give him 500 because God will multiply your, your finances. 
Amen. By faith, I believe it. Now, those who want to give. Okay, so now, uh, are, are we ready online? Now, those who want to give even 10000 or more. You can raise your hands. $10,000 or more. You can, those online, you want to give $10,000 or more. And it will come to the matching. $10,000 or more. Just uh, 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 look, uh, put your, your, your uh, uh, indication on. I, I believe it because this is a very important spiritual thing. So I believe that people will be able to do that. Amen? $10,000 or more. Who wants to do that? You will just put it in and that's it. Amen? Okay. And then somebody might want to give $5,000 or more a month. How many want to, uh, sorry, I said not a month. <laughs> How many, not yet, not yet, not yet. Say amen, not yet, because very soon you can give $5,000 a month easily. But how many want to give $5,000? $5,000, you want to be able to contribute $5,000 to the crusade. $5,000, you can raise your hands. You can also uh, 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 mention it on, on, online. You can just write, uh, uh, whatever, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, $5,000. You can just raise your hands uh, so that we know. $5,000, who wants to do that? Some will give unanimously based on the, the, because of different things. So anyone who wants to give $5,000, just remember $5,000, amen? Anyone in person wants to give $5,000, for the crusade, 5,000. Be the first to encourage the rest to do so. Amen? $5,000. Who wants to do that? 5,000. 5,000. Anybody? There's 10,000. There's 5,000. Sorry? Yes, so, yes. So when I say give... You can give now, but you can pledge up to a week. A week. Is that reasonable? Or a month? Okay, if it looks like a week is too. Okay, because very few people, please honor the pledge. <laughs> okay, you have a month to do it. One month. I think that would be easier. So $10,000, you have a month. Who wants to do 10000 within a month? You can also put it on the screen. Anybody? 10000 you can write it down. $5,000, 5000 You have a month, $5,000. Anybody? When someone online gives it, just give a shout so that I don't continue. $5,000, you have one month to do it. Amen? Okay. Now, who wants to give $2,000 or more? $2,000 or more. We have one. God bless you. Amen. $2,000. God bless you. God honor you in Jesus' name. $2,000. $2,000. Anyone else wants to give $2,000? I believe those online, some will give. Maybe some might not want to, but uh, to, to, to disclose uh, their, their uh, giving. But please, just give a thumbs up. $2,000 or more. Anybody else here wants to give $2,000 or more? God will bless us so that we can, if it's 10,000, if it's 100,000, we can give. There are some people who give 100,000. Yeah. Anybody else wants to give 2,000 apart from the one? Some, oh, I see another hand. God bless you. Two. So we have two people giving $2,000. Amen. Yes. Anybody else? 2,000 going once. I just have... I'm moving to the next. Okay. Anyone wants to give $1,000 or more? $1,000 or more? Raise your hands. And then we'll go... Okay, I see a hand. God bless you. $1,000. $1,000. Anybody else wants to give $1,000? $1,000 online? Okay. I believe that online. Okay. People are giving online. You have one month, hallelujah, one month to give it, 1,000. Anybody else wants to give $500 or more? $500 or more. God bless you. Who again? God bless you. I see two. Anybody else? Three. God bless you. $500 or more. So uh, please raise your hand so that we can. One. Who again? Uh, two. Two. Yes, I thought there were three. Who wants to give $500? Oh, good, three. Very good. 
And then who wants to give 200 and above? $200 and above. $200 and above. Who wants to do that? 200 Very good. God bless you. $200 and above. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Amen. $200 above. Anybody else? Those online. You're online because God has given you a, an opportunity to help support this. So I hope that those online are also sharing and are also giving. Amen. So that God blesses you. I think it's very compelling. What I sh what we shared, Cynthia, very, very powerful things. Malcolm, Etta, Abby, Fred, myself. So I think this is pretty important. Amen. Who wants to give $200 or more? $200 or more. Amen. Okay, very good. Now, now another thing I want to do is, so there's a match that uh, somebody said that if we get to a certain amount, and of course, I'm being honest, I'll be honest, I'm not going to inflate it, but if we get to a certain amount, so we finish with all this. Now, if we get to a certain amount, they will match it. Dollar for dollar. So if it's thousand, do add another thousand. If it's three thousand, do add another three thousand. If it's four thousand, do add another four thousand. That will make a big difference. Hallelujah. And the person is unanimous. Doesn't want to be uh, 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 known. Hallelujah. So now let's just give whatever we want. I don't know how it's going to work. We have a number of people online, but uh, I'm not seeing any responses. Uh, Etta, I don't know whether there are responses, but I guess we'll give it a shot so that we can match. Now, who wants to just mention any amount you want to give and let's add it up and see whether it's going to be a match. You could, you could have given, you could have mentioned your amount, but you can always add some more. Amen? Uh, just raise your hands and tell me what you want to, to give to match. Amen? Okay, one says 100 and above. So who is writing it? Oh, good, Boris, okay. So 100 and above, very good. God bless you. And God bless all those who are giving. Who else? It's hard without the online viewers. I'm sure many of them will be giving, but it's very hard. Uh, Etta, is anybody, has anybody said anything? Nobody, okay. Hallelujah. Anybody else wants to add for the match? How much have we, uh, how much uh, has been added up so far? Okay, doing the math. Hallelujah. Maybe you can have some soft singing whilst we be waiting. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anything else? Anybody? Now, free will. Anybody just add anything else to give? You can just mention. It's not easy raising funds. Hallelujah. But I believe that it's going to be good for us. Amen. It's going to be good, especially online. Hallelujah. Okay. Any amount? 200. God bless you. 200, 200, very good. Anybody else? So we are, they're, they're matching one now. So we have 100, we have 200. Or just the instrumentals. Any, 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 anyone else? You can, you can add to what you, you, you've decided to give. It's okay. Amen. So 100, 200. Any more? Let's get two or three more people. You see how it's hard to, to, to raise funds, but it's because it is important. I'm thinking about the people who need help. That's why I'm still doing it. I'm still raising the funds. Hallelujah. Because of the people who need help. Who else wants to give? Wow, God bless you. 500. 500. Amen. 500. Wow, beautiful. 500. So that will be 800. I think we've exhausted any more. I think everybody, okay, very good. 100, so that's 600. 
No, no, sorry. That's 900. So let's, let's do it again. Okay, let's start again. So we had Cynthia, 100. Then we had Joanna. No, sorry, who? 200, yes. 200, so that's 300. 500, so that's 800. And then 100, 900. And then, okay, 900. Sorry? 900. And then I guess those online, I guess we'll just have to um, trust God uh, for those. Okay. Very good. So it will be matched. Hallelujah. But somebody has decided to give $4,000. $4,000. Hallelujah. Unanimous $4,000 uh, for for, for, to help uh, with the crusade. $4,000. Isn't that a blessing? It's a great blessing. Amen. And I pray that those online, as you've joined us, you would also give. Amen. And these are very important. We need to raise funds because the gospel, we must be sent. Hallelujah. So um, I I believe that uh, that is all we have um, today. Amen. And I want to encourage, uh, in fact, let's show the children whilst I'm here. Let's show the children uh, being fed. Let's show the children being fed and all those who are giving. Blessings, beloved brothers and sisters. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, we've been working with gay HMC ministers for such a, since no, last year. And so far we have found out that there are a lot of needs of the word of God. There's a lot of thirst. And today we are from Panama. We are the uh, Nayala Island. And this is one of the islands where we have children where they are very needed, not just about the word of God, but as well as food. And we would not be able to do it without your sponsors. So please, every time that you give, give with your love, you know, and think about everyone. We are all under the same sky, same heaven, same earth, and we have a purpose within God, Jesus Christ, our Savior, to bring the word of God and to help the other ones, and especially the little ones. Pray blessings, brothers and sisters, and we give a praise to the Lord for us to be here. Everyone, we're expecting your assistance.
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm not sure what happened. Is it still playing? Okay, very good. So these are the, the people of uh, Gunya Yala. Guna, Guna Yala. Yes. Even though I was there, I keep messing the name. Hallelujah. So just before I bring these people back to just continue uh, uh, to talk to you, I just want to encourage partnership. Partnership. So some people might not have these amounts. Maybe you might not have 500, you might not have a, uh, 800, you might not have 1,000, you might not have 300, but you can decide that I'm going to become a partner and pay $30 a month, $40 a month. Hallelujah. Because that goes a long way. Imagine it's very good for planning. $30, $40 a month. We have one new partner. God bless you. New partner, God bless you. You are partnering. I mean, what we've shown you, I guess the question is, are we lying or are we speaking the truth? The other question is, is this God or it is not God? So if you are partnering with us, then you are partnering with God. Hallelujah. Because it is God who sent us. It's God who is sending us. Amen. So I want to encourage you to become a partner. And God will bless you. Hallelujah. And I believe that very, very soon, very, very, very soon, there will be so much that God will give us. Oh, yes. So much. All God needs is to touch someone's heart. He gives us everything we need. And then you realize that it makes all the difference. But all those who are giving in this time of the crusade's life are the ones who are giving more than many people will give in the future. Because this is the time. Imagine we have a million dollars and you give hundred dollars. Or we have a million dollars and you give thousand dollars. It's not going to have a great impact or a, is, the impact is not going to be as great as in the life of the crusade than now. <laughs> Hallelujah. And God, because this is from God, it is going to do well. It's going to continue. Hallelujah. So God bless you. And uh, please continue partnerships. We want more partners. And I'll just hand over uh, so you guys can uh, just do what you need to do. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys for giving to the Lord tonight. Amen. And... We're still here. Um, we still have more time to give. The ways to give are still on the is still going to be on the screen. Um, for those who want to um, give online, but may not want to leave your names online, there's a phone number that you can text, and we'll respond to you. Amen. So again, God is knocking on your hearts, and give freely, give willingly and God will bless you. Amen. So I just want to mention something quickly. Um, some people think that the pledge is like a monthly pledge. No. The pledge is just the time we give you to we are on your finances and give to the Lord. So you have up to one month to honor your pledge, if I can say, honor your donation. So it's not like a recurrent giving, but it can be one though, if you would like. We <laughs> will appreciate definitely. Amen. So if you're pledging to give, don't be afraid. We can't access your bank accounts. Yeah. <laughs> so please give to the Lord and be faithful after you pledge, right? Um, don't say, I'll give $200 and then you disappear. God don't like that. Okay? Um, so, we'll continue to encourage you to be a partner of JHMC um, so you can give monthly, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 1,000, 5,000 a month. And God will richly bless you. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
we'll invite the choir to give us a song as you continue to give. Amen. And oh yes, we have refreshment. Please help yourself. For those online, we'll ship you. Yes. Send your address. <laughs> we'll ship your refreshments. Amen. Jesus is taking care of us as we continue to give. I believe that the Lord is opening doors for us. He's multiplying our bank accounts. He's giving us more than we can even handle. Hallelujah. Amen. New miracles every day. New testimonies everywhere. His grace I receive daily, daily. I know Jesus is taking care of me. New miracles, new miracles every day. New testimonies everywhere. Let His grace I receive. Taking care of me, he's taking care of me. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, Jesus is looking after me. Jesus is watching over me. I'm shining because Jesus is taking care of me. New miracles, new miracles every day. is taking care of me he is taking care of me jesus is taking care of me oh jesus is looking up to me jesus is watching over me i'm shining because jesus is taking care of me Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, Jesus is looking after me. Oh, I'm shining. Jesus is watching over me. I'm shining because Jesus is taking care of me. He is taking care of us. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, Jesus is looking after me. Watching over me, Jesus is watching over me. I'm shining, I'm shining because, because Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, new miracles, new miracles every day. New testimonies, new testimonies everywhere. Oh, let His grace I receive daily, daily. I know Jesus is taking care of me. Jesus is taking care of me. Oh, Jesus is looking after me. He is watching over me. Jesus is watching over me. I'm shining. I'm shining because Jesus is taking care of me. It is coming from my heart. Praise and thanks unto you, Lord. For all the things that you have done, I'm grateful for your love. I give you that praise. It is coming. 
coming from my heart. And it is coming from my heart. Praise and thanks unto you, Lord. For all the things that you have done, I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. It is coming from my heart. It is coming from my heart. To you, for all the things you have done, for all the things that you have done, I'm grateful for your love. I give you the praise. I'm counting my blessings. And I'm counting my blessings. I just can't keep it to myself. When I thought that he had done too much, oh. oh Jesus did it again. I'm counting my blessings. I'm counting my oh, blessings. Counting, I'm counting. I just to myself. When I thought that he had done too much, oh, oh Jesus did it again. Oh, I'm counting my blessings. I'm counting my blessings. I just can't keep it to myself. When I think, when I think, when I thought that he had done too much, oh, whoa, Jesus did it again. I'm counting my blessings. Oh, I just can't keep it to myself. I can't keep, I can keep. When I thought that he had done too much, oh, whoa, Jesus did it again. When I thought that he had done too much, oh, oh Jesus did it again. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, you can do Zell at David Saki JHMC at gmail.com. Cash App, Jesus Heals Miracle Your Pain, or dollar sign one JHMC. And then PayPal, Jesus Heals Miracle Campaign. You can also scan the code on your screen. So all the ways of giving, secure and safe. Amen. Amen. And God will richly bless you. Amen. At this time, I would like to thank you all for joining us um, on this event. We pray that the Lord blesses you tremendously for those who came in person, for those online. Um, also, you can screenshot the ways to give, send it to friends, send it to family members, um, post it on your statuses, um, on Facebook. Let's support the ministry of God. And again, if anyone wants to reach out to um, someone here at JHMC, there's a phone number um, in the comment section. Please feel free to reach out um, and we will guide you and also, you can become a partner. Amen. Amen. And also, don't forget, we are meeting every every Sunday at 10 a.m. Sharp on Facebook, on YouTube. Join us. And if you are in Dallas or live around Dallas, we are welcome to see you here. And we're going to be more than happy to have you with us. 1600 North Plano Road, Richardson. And I would like to invite our very own Reverend David Saki. Amen. God bless you guys so much. Amen. And we'll see you next year. Amen. See you. Amen. Amen. Oh, let's put our hands together for those who organized it. Very, very good job. Very, very, very good. Amen. And all of you who came here.
God bless you, because without you, we will not be able to have this. So God will remember you. I really believe it. God will remember you. God will remember you coming, helping out. Let's put our hands together for each other. God bless you. You will be one of the few people who have been around to help something God is doing, which God will expand. Hallelujah. So let's, God bless you. And those watching, God bless you also for taking the time to join us to uh, celebrate what God is doing in the lives of people and to join us for this charity night. Thank you all. And I want to say God bless you all. God bless the works of your hands. God make you prosper. Every single one of us, may you be blessed in everything you do. May all the verses in the Bible that pertain to giving, that pertain to the blessings of giving, may they be sure and firm and secure in our lives. May Psalm 41, 1 to 3 be our portion. May, may, may we not lack anything good. May God meet us at our point of need. Just like we are meeting God in his urgency, in, in, in the thing that is dear to him, may God also deal with the things that are dear to us. In the name of Jesus, God bless you all. Thank you. If I appreciate it, you can imagine Jesus Christ because he sent me. If I appreciate all of you and those watching and what you are doing and the gifts you've given, how much more Jesus who sent me? and who sent the crusade, who sent all of us, how much more Jesus Christ is not going to be in vain. God bless you, and shalom.